Dividend from Indian company always exempted. But is there any limit? Yes, up to 10 lakh it is exempted. Interest on post office up to 3500 exempted. Casual income is unexpected income. Gold monetization scheme is exempted. A warm welcome to one and all. This is your Adha Sahya. Lecture in Vidyas from First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the third session of Unit 3, topic called Tax Management. Under Tax Management, we are discussing income from other source. In the previous session, we worked out two problems on income from other source. While doing problem itself, we understood all the concept, all the tax limit and also what are exempted and which are taxable. Similarly, in today's session, we'll go with another two problem so that we'll understand better what is income from other source. We'll go for next. So agenda is very simple. We'll go with problems. So problem number three, Mr. Ranjit. Mr. Ranjit, a residence, means it is an individual problem, gives the following information of his income for the previous year 1920. Now, compute his gross total income. We'll go one by one, we'll understand the concept also. Now, dividend on preferences. Have they mentioned foreign company no. If it is Indian company, dividend is exempted or taxable? Yes, good. It is always exempted. Dividend from Indian company always exempted. But is there any limit? Yes. Up to 10 lakh it is exempted. Remember this. Write down. Up to 10 lakh any dividend received is exempted. Above 10 lakh then it will become taxable. So that's why your dividend is not 100% exempted. Remember what is the limit? Up to 10 lakh it is exempted. Above 10 lakh that difference should be considered as taxable. In this case, dividend from preferences you have 12 lakh. What we are supposed to do? 12 minus 10, only 2 lakh is taxable. Up to 10 lakh we have to consider as exemption. Now, you learned one more concept now. In this, income from undisclosed sources, fully taxable. Undisclosed means few sources are there. You cannot disclose. You don't have any proof. You don't have any uh, documents for that income. Those are called as undisclosed. You have to consider that as taxable. And few sources are there like casual income. So it is five marks theory actually, casual income. So while attending your tax class, please keep one book so that whatever important topics I'll tell, please write down, it is helpful for your, not only for your examination, but also for your professional course. In that, in the professional course, if you go to any classes, you cannot go and ask, sir, what is casual income? What is this? What is the limit? Small, small thing, if you go and ask, it will, no, it won't go, go nice. That's why this is a place, your BCom or BBA, the basic from the scratch you can learn. This will help you while doing your professional course. Not only your syllabus, I'll cover additional topics also, definitely it will help you while doing any other courses, your post-graduation or anywhere, these things will help you. Now, in this, casual income, what is casual income? I'll give you best example. You have done with your, you have gone for some movie, so your favorite hero movie. You are done with your movie and everything. You are coming out from theater while coming out you found 10,000 rupees. What is the value? 10,000 rupees cash you found. Now you took the 10,000 so can you give it to if you ask somebody whose 10,000 is this everybody will raise the hand. Is it clear? Yes. So if it is something documents or ID card you will get to know it belongs to whom. But 10,000 rupees cash if you show to anybody if it is yours 
Then if you come and ask me if it is yours, I'll say yes, it is mine only. Because there is no proof that the 10,000 belongs to whom. Now, if you found 10,000, if you find 10,000 in the road, what will you do? You will take the 10,000. So if you are good enough, in the 10,000, you put 1 or 2,000 to the God or some temple, balance 8,000 you spend for your personal this thing. Now, will you give me any proof? How come you got this 10,000? You are getting 10,000 salary in your office. For that, you have a salary slip. Yeah, but for this 10,000, will you show me any proof, any document? No. These are called as casual income. Hope you are clear what is casual income. Casual income is unexpected income. So, which are not often in nature, which are not repeated in nature, are called as casual income. Hope you are clear. Good. Now, so income from undisclosed it is fully taxable. Now, income from letting hire building and machinery under lease. 30,000 is taxable, but in these cases, we have to see, is there any adjustment for this? At the end, adjustments will be there. Whatever adjustments they have given, we have to deduct. We have to minus. Now, next, interest on bank deposit, taxable. Then, income received from ground rent, taxable. Then, director sitting fees, uh, received. It is completely taxable. Now, winning from lottery. See, up to how much it is exempted? 10,000. Exact 10,000 you have to consider. Now, in the bracket, what they have given? Net. We want net or we want gross? We want gross. If you have watched the previous video or previous session, you will find, you will uh, get to know why I am asking net and gross. In the previous session, I explained you what is net, what is gross. Now, in this problem, we don't want net, we want gross. How to convert? Very simple. 7000 into 100 divided by 7. Clear? If you do this, you will get 10,000. 10,000 is taxable. Hope you are clear? Yes. If the word net is not there, then this calculation not required. You should consider 7,000 itself. Then, gift received. Very important. I already explained you about gift. Now, you are only supposed to tell me whether it is a taxable or exempted. Now, received 80,000 as gift from his friend. Should I consider? Yes, because it is above 50,000. Above 50,000 means it is taxable. Now, Received 1 lakh from his elder brother, relative, so no tax. Then, received 1 lakh 40,000 on his marriage, exempted, no tax. On occasion of marriage, you may get from anybody irrespective of amount exemption. Received gift from his grandmother, grandmother is who? Relative, 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 it is exempted. Next, following are the deductions. These are the deductions as I told you for machinery. I'll go back. Income from letting higher building and one more. Yes, building and machinery and at least 30,000 for that. Depreciation is 2,000 and Insurance is 250, 2,250, you're supposed to minus. Hope you're clear, good. Now, so I'll go to the answer. Dividend on equity shares, 12 lakh you have, minus 10 lakh, only 2 lakh is taxable. Already I explained you. Why? Because up to 10,000 exempted. Now, income from undisclosed, it is always taxable. Income from letting off higher, now, actual value 30,000 minus 2 minus 250, so it will be 27,250. Next, interest on bank deposit, it is taxable. Income received from ground rent, it is taxable. Director sitting fees, it is taxable. Easy, simple to know. Then, 
winning from lottery so they have mentioned net so we are supposed to do what we have to convert 7000 into 100 by 70 it will be 10000 hope you are clear good gift received 80000 why because it is above 50000 we should consider from brother relative from ma on marriage uh, no tax or uh, from grandmother it is a relative no tax add everything gift only one we have considered the total answer is 3,37,950 hope you are clear good i'll go back to your previous slide please take a screenshot of problem one so this is your problem so this is your solution part one Solution part two. So now we'll come for the problem number four. In this, Mr. Subhash, a resident in India, earned the income during the financial year 2019 and 2020. Now, interest on security 6,000. Should we consider? Yes. Now, if it is UTI, we will not consider. Remember. Winning from horse race, about 10,000, consider. Income earned from subletting of house, consider. If there are any adjustment, we are supposed to minus, remember. Dividend from foreign company, fully taxable. Indian company, up to 10 lakh exempted. Interest on post office, up to 3,500 exempted. How much you have? 2,000, so exemption. Ground rent on land. 5,000 Patna, so it is completely taxable. Expenses incurred on subletting of house. Where is subletting? Here. Subletting is here. 10,500 minus 500. Your answer is 10,000. Any charges you spent, you have to minus. Remember, except for lottery. They will give you lottery income 20,000 and in the down they will give you Lottery purchased 1000. Don't consider, never consider the lottery purchase from lottery. Other than that, other expenses we have to minus. Then, director fees fully taxable. Income from agriculture land in Bangladesh. In India, exempted. Outside India, taxable. He received gift from his cousin, wristwatch 5000. So, Cousin, what is the limit? Up to 50. So it is below 50, yes. Now, 700 received on account of paycheck, interest on debenture listed, no tax exempted. Then, interest on deposit under gold monetization, monetization, it is exempted. Gold monetization scheme is exempted. Remember, this very important gold monetization scheme is exempted. Then he get gift of house property from friend uh, worth rupees stamp duty is how much? 45. You will not get house for 45. Maybe it is a old problem, I think. So 45,000, it is below what? 50. So it is what? Exempted. Now I'll go to the answers. Interest on security, fully taxable. Winning from horse race, fully taxable. Income earned, 10,500 minus 500, 10,000, taxable. Dividend from foreign company, taxable. Interest on post office saving, up to 3,500 exempted. We have only 2,000, so it is exempted. Ground rent received from land in Patna, so it will be what? Taxable. Income from agricultural land, taxable. Director fees, taxable. Gift from watch, amount does not exceed 50, so will not consider. Cousin they have mentioned, they have not mentioned relative or what kind of cousin, that's why we have to go with the 50,000 limit. We don't know cousin includes in relative. If he, is a, he or she is a far cousin, then it will not come under relative. Interest on deposit under gold uh, monetization, as I told you, it is a tax free. See, interest on debenture, we have to consider, but no tedious on that. 
no tedious. Then your gift from Basu, but what is the value of the gift? 45, below 50,000, so there is no tax. So total it is how much? 82,000. I'll go out of the screen, please take screenshot. Problem number four, continuation. Solution part one. Solution part two. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood how to calculate your income from other sources. Today also you learn some new concept like gold monetization scheme and few new concept you learn. And one more concept important, dividend. Dividend from Indian company about 10 lakh is taxable. And following types of gift that also you have learned. So this much only your income from other sources, but still we do another two to three problems so that you will become expert in this topic. Thank you.